Morning chillins, morning everybody else. It's Phil Beckwith here, the professional painter and decorator. I keep saying the YouTube sensation, far from a YouTube sensation. Hey ho, never mind. Um, we're going to do a really quick video today. I don't want to do a 20 minute video on this. Right, you've seen the thumbnail. Seen what it is. Smith and Roger blockade. What is it? Read the can. It's a white shellac sealer primer. Now I want to show you what this can do and where you might might benefit from using this. Yeah, it's a shellac based product so we know, well do you know, shellac comes from the lac beetle. Now the part of the shell part, shellac, is nothing to do with the shell of the lac beetle. They get shellac from the lac beetle's excrement. Now these lac beetles reside in places like Indonesia, Malaysia, Thailand, all the really nice warm countries. Now their excrement goes on the leaves of the plants that they're eating and whatever they're doing on these plants. Now when it dries out in the sun, the people that say harvest, harvest the shellac, well we know it as shellac, um, harvest this excrement, peel it off the leaves of these plants and it curls off in a shell form so that's where you get the shell lac that's making sense now the thinner for shellac is methylated spirit so when you put some meths with it denatured alcohol that's where you get the liquid form of the shellac so quick bit of history on um, shellac and I've got a feeling it's off the the female lac beetle if it's the male lac beetle tell me I've forgotten oh, so much information I've got in this little brain of mine that I forget a lot of it we're all laughing aren't we but no shellac it's not oil based it's not water based it's actually spirit as in methylated spirit based so the thinner for shellac is methylated spirit enough about history of shellac Right, this blockade, what am I going to use it for today? And then we'll explain a little bit more about it. You remember, I've done previous videos and we've got a playlist there of product testing. I've asked a number of times on certain videos where I've put, I don't know whether you'll see it, where I've put marker pen, you might just see it there, there and there, it bleeds through. Because marker pen's one of those funny ones. Indelible marker pen's a funny one for particularly the water-based paints that I've been using. It bleeds through the surface. Now, I'm just doing a get dedicated video. Nobody's sponsoring me. There are other products available. Bin. Zinza Bin is another product like this. Now, you can get Zinza Bin in rattle cam form and you can get it in paint tin form. Same as this. This is fraction cheaper there's probably not much in it but on testing you might find that you like this more than bin bin's very good bin does what it says on the tin this does what it says on the tin so the choice is yours no sponsorship if anybody's sponsoring me i'd like porsche to get on the phone as quick as possible because i'm ready for a, a porsche right what we're going to do we're going to spray oh, I keep going on about this porsche i want a porsche can YouTube pay for a Porsche for me? Oh, probably not. Have a look how much I've been earning on YouTube last 12 months. It's not good. It's minimum wage. If you were minimum wage, you'd pack in. You'd just stay at home, wouldn't you? Joking apart. Right, we've got some staining through. It's actually bleeding through. This will hold that off for any future paints. There's a misconception when using these shellac based products because a lot of people say oh they're brittle they're brittle they're brittle, brittle they are brittle when you put too much on the idea of these is to give a light coat to give an adhesion coat to give a stain blocking primer coat but you don't need to make it cover i.e making it a thick coating over the surface that's where you might find that you get in brittle paint don't work like that all it needs is a light waft so I'm going to show you how it works, then I'll just read the back of the can so I can explain what this does and the properties of it and you can make your own decision. No endorsement, I'm just thinking it's a good product and um, you might want to try it. Fair enough. Right, shake it up. Shake it like a Polaroid picture, as the song went. 
if you remember that, if you're old enough to remember that song. Who sang that? Shake it like a Polaroid picture. Oh, I can think of the video. It might come back to me. Give us some comments. Who made that? Who made that song? Shake it like a Polaroid picture. I might have to Google it. Right, we've agitated that. We've got the ball bearing inside. Turn it upside down. And then that way. Got the ball bearing inside and it's agitating the product. Right, so that's good to spray. All we're doing, I don't well, I can get you a bit closer so you see it. All we're doing is giving a waft coat to this marker pen that's coming through. Now the door, I have given it a nib down and a dust off, so we're all ready for painting moving forward. Another videos, loads of videos. Right, it's a, it's a horizontal, uh, it's not a, a, a cap that sprays upwards, it's one that sprays out. So um, let's just do a couple of light waft coats and we're good to go. Now you should be holding it roughly about 25 centimetres from the surface. Don't go too close, don't go too far away. It's a little bit like spraying. If you spray, can mm, I get a piece of board? Oh yeah. I'm back. If that's, if that's my board and I'm spraying too close, let's show you this lot. You see it, it's starting to run. That's like when we do HVLP spraying and also airless spraying. If you're too close, it runs. If you're too far away, I don't want to get covered in it. If you're too far away, it doesn't put enough on. So if you keep at that 25 centimetre distance, which is roughly about there, nice coating. And that's all you need to do. A light coating. Right, I've done that side. I'm going to do this side. Work my way over it. Takes about 15 minutes to dry, and we're going to do just a second waft coat over the top. Tank covered, jobs are good, and we're done. What do we think of that? Give us some comments. Right, let's read the back of the can. Drying time's about 15 minutes. Recoat, well, I'll give it 45, it says on the back of the can. But Depending on the conditions, it might take a bit longer to dry, but use common sense. Always read the back of the can. Always read the front of the can. Look at this, easy to apply. Rattle can. Minimal preparation. Fast drying. Completely blocks stains and odours. Covers in one coat. Blockade, right. Again, Smith and Roger, blockade. If I can see it, it's actually small writing. Right. Oh, I'll have to, do I need glasses? Have I got to that age and need glasses? Or is it just small writing? I think it's small writing. Outcast. Oh, just come to me, outcast. Hey, uh, shake it like a Polaroid picture. Oh, do I have to pay copyright on that? Outcast, outcast sang, um, shake it like a Polaroid picture. Well, in the words, shake it like a Polaroid picture. Yeah, it was hey, uh, shake it like a Polaroid. Right. It's a white shellac sealer primer. Can we get in there like, so you can see my face? Right, ideal for use on all interior woodwork and plaster where a rapid matte finish is required. Brilliant. Right, I can hardly see it, dear me. Right, Smith and Roger, can you just make the wording on the back a bit bigger, please? I need a magnifying glass. Right, covers glossy and hard to paint surfaces such as tiles varnish or gloss paint with no sanding required. Brilliant. Right, the pure shellac based. Oh, I can't even see it. I think it's permanently. <laughs> That's right. The pure, sh I can't even see it. The pure shellac base permanently blocks odours including nicotine, smoke and mould. This is what you're needing, yeah. Use as a sealer and primer over even the dirtiest paint colours, oh sorry, dirt, darkest paint colours um, prior to overcoating with emulsion. Seals in stains from grease, Water, smoke, crayon. Well, this is like crayon. Ink. Lipstick. Oh, because we all get lipstick on walls, don't we? Mwah. 
Where do you get lipstick from? What is does cochineal? Cochineal comes to my mind. Is that something else like a beetle? Or is that back in the olden days? Cochineal. Was it cochineal red? Comments. Uh pride to overcoating and washing. Seals in stains. Blah, 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 blah. Oh the main thing. Knots in wood. Stops knots in wood. Well we know about that. Shellac based products. Stops knots in wood. Knots in wood. Misconception. Right. There's three things that stop proper knots in wood. A shellac based product, i.e. like this. Aluminium leafing primer, because it layers, stops it coming through. Also use aluminium leafing primer on hardwoods and resinous um, woods, problematic woods. And um, also gold leaf. They're the three main things that will stop knots in wood. Anything else as a substitute. Back to reading. It's like Jack Norrie. Um, can be used to seal porous surfaces. So top coat paints have better coverage. Can be used as a base for both water-based and oil-based paints. Oil -based paints. It's covering a multitude of um, problems for us. But this is where I'm saying these cranes, look, you can see it coming through slightly. It's coming through, but that will hold off for my next coats of paint. Oh, fingers crossed. If it doesn't, I'll be back to tell you. You know I will be. But we've got it two light wafts of um, this, which is white shellac um, sealer primer, and that will hold it off for future paints going over it, all being well. But other than that, it's brilliant for nicotine stains and water stains. And the main thing is, this is ideal. When you go to a job and you've got knots on um, woodwork, if you've got this in your van or in your toolkit, just spray a little bit on, go back, give it a second coat, should be fine. It does say only one, but I would say just give it two blasts of um, this, that'll hold it off, then you can paint over it. What I'm finding, and I've had on jobs before, that if you go around with a, a shellac based paint and you're brushing it on, sometimes it can get a little bit of a creep of a run, or it can look a little bit thick on the surface, depends who's done it. And particularly when you're spraying, if you're spraying over it with an HVLP, or even if you're doing woodwork with an ordinary conventional um, airless sprayer, or conventional spray sometimes because you're such a good surface that you're actually um, oh it's probably the wrong way of saying it because you're spraying so nicely there's no forgiveness in the things that show through underlying your paint so if you've got a fatty blob of I don't know shellac shellac paint underneath I don't want to mention any names because I'm not mentioning any names if you've got a thick blob of a shellac based product underneath that surface it'll more than likely show whereas if you've got a spray finish of a shellac based product that evenly coats that knot there's less likely of it showing up but on that note read the can when you finish using your spray it's always a good idea just to invert it and just spray a little bit out so it's the air well the compressed air that's inside just clears your tip nozzle but other than that Give it a go. I'll see what it's like. If it holds off, brilliant. Right. Might have some videos there for you to watch. Thanks for listening. See you on the next one.